Hello, foster carers in Norfolk who say children were wrongly taken from them are still waiting for resolution after three years. A local MP has also told Look East he's furious that social services have failed to include some of the families in a report due out later this week. Simeon Cookson grew up in foster care. For six years he lived with Jamie Perrin, the man he knew as dad. But when he was 15, social services arrived at his school to remove him. I was in the lesson at the time and then there was a knock on the door and a teacher sort of asked me to come out and then I was taken to the principal's office. Obviously I thought it was just heartbreaking being taken away from your family. You didn't, you didn't know what was going on. And then later when I was a bit older, I just when you start to understand what's going on, you get more and more angry about it, thinking about why has that happened? That definitely shouldn't have been the case. And they weren't alone. More than a dozen other foster carers felt they too were unfairly struck off. They went to their MPs who held an inquiry. Norfolk County Council promised to look at the cases. But in May last year, Lakeith discovered the council had failed to even contact some carers. The review was pointless if the people whose cases are under review don't know that you're here. I, uh, I can't answer uh, how that, that happened. I mean, the BBC phoned these people. Why can't you make a phone call? All, of, all the deregistered foster carers will be contacted. And with that promise came a second review, again headed by Ian Parker, this time joined by a police officer, a social worker and two foster carers. 16 months on, it's still not resolved. This is a department that is supposed to be trying to demonstrate that it's competent and capable, uh, and in particular that looked after children will be well safeguarded in Norfolk. And it doesn't give me great confidence that they're on top of things. I think their behaviour is shocking. They promise on television that all the foster carers and the young people who gave evidence at the MP's inquiry in 2013 would be invited to take part in the review the Parker Independent Review. This has not happened. And Look East has seen a document from this man. It suggests discontinuing the review despite early findings that past decisions were not always in the best interests of children or handled fairly in respect of foster carers. Norfolk County Council says it will publish the report on Thursday. It says that all foster carers have been contacted to have their say, but that some meetings were cancelled. They say there will be a fresh opportunity for those who they say refused. Three years on, this family is still not happy with the way they were torn apart. But now Simeon's an adult, he's free to choose where he lives and has moved back to the place he calls home. Nikki Fox, BBC Look East, Norfolk.